We know why we're here. To design the future of flight inside and out. To build tomorrow's technology in amazing ways. And reshape the science of aerospace forever. Around the globe, the people of Boeing are working together for the dreams of generations to come. That's why we're here. Trent Lott, Charles Schumer, David Yepsen, James Pendle, Newt Gingrich, Bill Richardson, Seymour Hersh, Ron Wyden, Kit Bond, her husband, President Clinton. It doesn't seem as if she's for the exception that you were outlining. She was great, though. I, I'm not even sure what I said is right now. You fought tooth and nail for NAFTA back in, in, in 1993 and 1994. Hillary says it's hurt American workers. Yeah. Do you agree that it's hurt American workers? No. NAFTA has become sort of a symbol. Actually, our big trade deficits are with China. The two principal determinants I'd say today are can Romney hold the lead in Iowa, New Hampshire, he now has, if he doesn't move up in the national polls? Can Giuliani hold the lead in the national polls if he doesn't move up in Iowa, New Hampshire, and when they start to advertise? When I had taken leave from Fox, Randy Evan had taken leave from his law firm. We had a website set up to launch on Monday, and we were informed yesterday morning that if I had any communication with American Solutions after I became a candidate, it was a criminal offense. Randy's estimate was we had several million dollars in pledges uh, I think we would clearly have been competitive financially uh, within three weeks. And, and we literally had not even set up the website yet. Uh, and I regret Senator Clinton voted for this resolution labeling uh, the Revolutionary Guard terrorists. Uh, this, was, this was provocative. It, it didn't need to happen. Not until all our troops out, are out would we be, we be able to have a reconciliation, a political settlement, a possible partition, an all-Muslim peacekeeping force headed by the UN, a donor conference, stability in the region. Every one of them gave uh, as the reason for not being there scheduling. The problem with that logic, or your logic as it were, Tim, is that when you say no to every black request you've received, when you say no to every Hispanic request you've received, is that a scheduling issue or is that a pattern? I think it's a realization though that that they're going to take a more centrist position and say to the left wing of their party, we've got to be pragmatic about this. We can't lose a general election because of your feelings about the war. Uh, I do think that's the way it's going to shake out. I think it'll be Thursday the 3rd or, or Saturday the 5th. Um, I think the effect of all these other states moving these contests up have, has just enhanced what's going on in Iowa and in New Hampshire. And of course, New Hampshire allows independent voters to vote uh, in the primary. And recent polls have suggested that two-thirds to 70 percent of these independent voters are likely to vote in the Democratic primary. And because of that, what we've really seen here on the ground is that it's almost like a general election race between Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. It's every single week with, with Fred Thompson, yeah. something he's just unaware of. It's, it's, it's definitely getting to be a pattern, uh, and I think if it continues, you're going to find a lot of Republicans who had initially really kind of welcomed him in the race, thought that maybe this is the guy who can galvanize conservative uh, voters. They're going to look elsewhere, back to Romney, back to John McCain. Who but my guess is we will not have enough to override in the House. Speaker Pelosi has said, and I agree with this, that she is going to try and send this issue back to the president uh, over again because it is so needed. That, is, that shows it's just totally politics. Now, the president's going to be to it. It's going to be sustained. We need to sit down and make some changes uh, so that we can actually get uh, broader support. And president, the only thing he has gone for is a plan that will cut a million kids off. That's not a compromise. Well, and we he's going to have to, to compromise, that. and so are you, Chuck. Well, he hasn't. I hope you'll get him to compromise. So far, he's Well, adamant. I'd like to have a chance to try. Well, I, I support uh, the S-CHIP program, Children's Health Program, very important in Missouri. Unfortunately, the uh, administration did not recommend enough funding for it. Uh, I, have, I have some questions about the funding. I I think we ought to be supporting the reformers uh, in Iran, and I think we are already entangled in two wars, and it seems to me if the administration wants to get us into a third, they ought to come to the Congress. And I agree with most of what he said, except I was a strong supporter of the Lieberman. You Kyle. voted. Well, I'll talk to him later. <laughs> Tell me about... <laughs> 
talk too much. I can't believe the things you say. Brought to you by the Boeing Company.